Hey YouTube, this is Beehouse1545 doing a review on some of my new upgrades. You've seen all the new ones, the Daniel Defense Rail and the flip up front sight that replaced the A2 front sight. Uh, the Magpul Trigger Guard, Magpul Bad Lever, uh, and the uh, Voltor BCM Gunfire Charging Handle. Um, in the Novet or the ASAP swing mount, some of the new stuff I added. Uh, told you about this. I purchased this. It hadn't come yet by the time I made that video, but it is a Phantom 5C2 compensator. Uh, I have it upside down because I don't have a bench, and I messed it up a little bit. I'll, I'll send it to a gunsmith. Be done in like 10 minutes, less than that. Uh, on top here I got some D-Boys plastic rail covers, or not plastic, uh, rubberized, really low profile, it gives it a cool look. By the way, I'm going two-tone, uh, tell you that in a little bit. This is my new exciting buy, uh, kind of spendy, but, uh, this is a Trijicon ACOG. TA 31 RCO dash A4 scope. It's a 4x32 sight, so it's got 4 zoom. Um, came with a doctor sight, red dot, really small one, and a kill flash, and an extra mount, I mean, and the kit to clean it and whatnot. So, I mean, it's a good kit. Uh, these things, this is an American made clone that isn't the Chinese one, the cheap, shitty one. Uh, there's no trim in here. So, <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Um, it looks like a rifle scope, uh, which is nice. And it's got that four zoom, which the EOTech 5.52 clone that I had uh, isn't. Uh, this one was a lot more than this one. This one was like 150 plus shipping. I got free shipping on this, which is nice. But, this was kind of spendy too, though. Um, uh, let's see, the clone was running on eBay for 250 so not even close to what a real Trijicon ACOG is, but uh, I managed to bump them down to about 220 so that uh, works really well. I mean, I'm excited to go try it out and hope it's zeroed in. Um, at the range, uh, I have no clue if this holds zero well or not. Um, I mean, I didn't really want to go all out and buy an expensive Trijicon because I'm <coughs> might as well buy a new rifle or build one myself. <coughs> I mean, I know how to, I just don't have a bench, and that's a problem. So, uh, anyways, oh yeah, I forgot to safety check it, but. Uh, here you go. Okay, safety checked. Putting the magazine back in. Uh, yeah. So here, I'll show you something. Now, everyone says, oh my gosh, those Chinese clones, uh, they're shitty. Oh yeah, they are. They go off the screen. Some of them, and some of them aren't just not as bright okay well here is my my uh, holographic site here we go there it is see does not go anywhere off the screen uh, and you know right here is where it's supposed to turn green guess what this has where to go? Oh, it's actually night vision capable. Yes, and guess how much I paid for it? 150 bucks. Yes, and it's a Neotech clone. Yes, it is just as good as a Neotech. Not as bright, as you can tell. Could be a lot brighter. Uh, but in my eyes, it's perfectly fine for shooting at 50 meters. Uh, P 
people who shot at a hundred. I don't understand how they can. Well, you can. I've tried it. Not very accurate, as all people say they are. You can't see shit through this. I mean, it's a one zoom capability. Uh, you can hit it, but not in a small group like they show. So I'm guessing they're either shooting at 50 meters or 75 with a magnifier. So, I mean, I was shooting at 50 meters pretty accurate on a bench. Uh, I'm going to try 100 meters with this ACOG clone because it's four times zoom with the bolt drop compensator on it. That's what I liked about it. Uh, I didn't know mine came with the uh, ACOG uh, red dot sight. Uh, I bet I could have gotten something similar to this uh, cheaper, but. This guy lived in Illinois, which is close to Iowa, and uh, it was actually a pretty decent price. So, I do not believe this is a real Trijicon, first of all, because they do not uh, white their lettering, and their lettering is usually engraved, which this isn't. Uh, and it usually has either a G and G mount or uh, I think it's, oh, I'm, I'm not sure what kind of mount it's on here usually, and there's no illumination or trinium in this, so I'm pretty sure, I'm almost 100% sure this is a Trujicon clone. Uh, it might be a real one, but I highly doubt it, so, but it's full metal, no plastic whatsoever. Caps are aluminum. Uh, real clean lenses. Good zoom. No breakage or anything. Uh, the kill flash works excellent. Comes back and swoops around and rests there. Then the doctor sight you put screws in. And it works really fine. It's got an anti reflection lens on it. It's a really nice sight. So, uh, rate me on this. Thanks. Bye.